Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. If you've been watching our video blogs, you know that we've said a lot about what goes inside of an LZ modular flashlight and what comes out the front end as far as lumens, candela, and the various ratings. Today we're going to talk about the flashlight body itself and how every detail, every cut and contour is there with a very specific purpose. Taking a look at the outer design of an LZ modular flashlight, we see the characteristic seven fluted bezel. And these flutes are simply more than to make it look like an LZ. They provide resistance to rolling when it's set on a flat surface that you might do in many different applications. Similarly, an LZ tail cap has seven flutes. It also aids in keeping it stationary when set on a surface and also gives you the ability to very easily rotate the tail cap with one hand that you might need to do in a high-low or a high strobe or a rotary tail cap, giving you a positive gripping action to be able to very easily and simply rotate the tail cap. Now you'll also notice the tail cap at its end is tapered in. This gives you the ability to very rapidly insert this into a pocket, pouch, or belt holster, much in the same way as a funneled magazine well is going to speed reloads of a pistol or a carbine. Now the fact that a tactical flashlight is going to be used in some pretty gruesome environments, likely to have blood, guts, rain, oil, sleet, snow, who knows what in the environment, trying to get on your flashlight and in between your hand, we need a design that's going to maximize grip. And if you look at the body design of an LZ modular flashlight, you'll notice that it has some flat areas where the logo is engraved, it's got grooves around the circumference, and it's got some very fine knurling in between those grooves. And if it looks a little bit like the tread pattern on a modern passenger car tire, that's not coincidence. It functions in very much the same way. The fine knurling will allow the water to get into the grooves, much the way the sipes on passenger car tread gets the water from underneath the contact patch of the tire into the grooves to be channeled away and removed from the tire. This way, the fine knurling gets the water, the blood, the guts, the grime into these channels, which can flow into the flat areas and fall away from your flashlight, leaving your flashlight in firm contact with your hand, whether it's gloved or bare flesh, for a true, positive, firm, high traction grip. And also you'll notice on this limited edition flashlight, it is equipped with a crenellated bezel. And all the LZ modular flashlights have the option to put a crenellated bezel on it. And this is a great self-defense tool. And unlike some of the other so-called crenellated or spiked bezels that you might see on other flashlights, the LZs are not so sharp as a cut you. You can easily handle it. It's not going to tear your clothes. But it is made in such a way that when it is impacted into flesh and twisted like a hole saw, it leaves a sizable and painful wound that will tell any assailant they should have picked an easier victim. Now this was just a super quick overview of some of the various outside features of an LZ modular flashlight. And it goes beyond having a fluted bezel and tail cap and a, a tapered tail cap and a body designed like a modern passenger car tire. If you want to see some of those other critical elements that make a true tactical flashlight worth its salt, check out our other video blogs where we talk about everything from optical lenses and lumens and candela and beam tint and much, much more from the FL1 standard to all kinds of important things that you need to understand about tactical flashlights. Be sure to check out our other video blog posts. Also, we encourage you to subscribe. We've got more coming, lots of great things to share. We also have more details on all these topics in our written blog that you can find at lzeta.com blog.